everyone and welcome back to my channel so for this video I am going to be sharing with you guys some new makeup brushes that I just got um, for those of you that are new to makeup brushes or just trying to learn more about brushes um, how to use them what they're good for and you're looking at them you're looking for them at an affordable price I got some good makeup brushes that I want to share with you so stay tuned okay so I'm going to start off with sharing the face brushes, like the foundation brushes. Now I just started to use these brushes today. This is my first time using them and they were, I really like them. They were soft, they came on really, really smooth, it blended out the makeup so I really like these brushes. Now they are called, these are, these are them um this is like the whole pack it came in a pack it was 16 brushes inside of the package so and i ordered them from amazon and the name of the brushes are best so in the package it came with like an instruction like this and it basically just goes over what all the brushes are and how you can use them um and so i'm gonna go over exactly what each brush does and how you can use them for those beginners that kind of don't know okay like what brush do i use for this or what brush do i use for that so i'm gonna kind of talk about the brushes now the again the brand is called best stops right yes it's called best stops these this was 16 brushes for 12.99 12.99 makeup brushes now have gone up so much to to the point where one brush can range anywhere from seven dollars all the way to twenty dollars or something like that if you're getting them from like mac or high-end makeup stores so to find 16 brushes for 12 dollars that's less than a dollar for each brush and these are a really good quality um, these are really good quality makeup brushes. They're really soft. Uh, the they pick up the products like the makeup products. Um, it it picks up a lot of products, which will give you a nice coverage when you're using it when you're putting it on. Okay, so now let me get into what each brush is and how it works. Now, I just started using these brushes today. Today was my first day using it, and I really really love it. I'm really excited about. Um, I'm really excited about them. Okay, so this is called a flat brush. The face flat brush. Okay, so on the, um, it's kind of like it has a flat top. It's really flat at the top. And basically this is a blending brush. You use this to like blend in your liquid foundation. So you put the foundation on your face and then you would blend it in like this with this brush you can use it for that you can also use it for powder but it's um i like to use this brush to blend in my liquid foundation okay so similar to that brush you have the round um makeup brush now this is the brush that i use to blend in the powder foundation and it kind of the difference is i don't know if you guys can see but the difference is this one is more round at the top. Um, you can also use this for blush or to contour, um, but I just like to use it for the powder. So these two brushes I'm gonna show at the I'm gonna show you guys at the same time because this one is the flat angled brush, which is it's like it has this flat top. See that? And this one is also an angled brush, but it's the round angle brush. So I use this brush, the round angle brush, for blush. And you can also use it to contour. But you can also use this one for blush and contour as well. So the angle is kind of like it's angled. So like when you put on the blush, because you kind of put it on your cheekbones, it goes up. So it kind of, it has that angle type of brush. So you can use either this one or this one 
whichever one you like the way it kind of smooth in. I like to use this one because I, I like to blend it in. Um, this is the last face brush and this one is called a taper brush and it's kind of pointy um, at the top. But you, I use this brush for underneath my eyes. So to blend in the concealer that's underneath the eye. And, it, and I really, really loved it. This is actually my first time using this brush to blend in my concealer. And I really, really loved how it, 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 it smoothed it out, but it didn't wipe off the product. And that was something that I was like a little surprised about. I was like, okay wow you know it didn't actually take it all off so it kind of lightly just brushed it um and blended it in but it didn't actually remove the product like i have been using some old old brushes and it was just i'm so glad i got some new brushes but it was just like wiping it off and so it was to the point where i would just actually use my fingers because the brushes was like more so they were old like i've had those brushes for a while but and we're kind of like taking the product off. So, but that one does not do that. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the eyeshadow brushes. Now, the eyeshadow brushes, there's a lot of them. So, I'm not going to go into all, all debt. But this is like, these are all the eyeshadow brushes. They have a couple. So, a couple of them are like for liquid eyeliner. So they have this little small one that you would use to like apply a liquid. If you have it in a pot or something, you would use this one. This brush right here is a concealer brush. Now what, I, what I'll typically do is I'll use this brush to, com to apply the concealer underneath my eyes. So another way I use this brush is to highlight my eyebrows or outline my eyebrows with the concealer so I'll use this brush to highlight it with the concealer and then I'll go in with these tapered brush right here to blend it in so I'll apply it with this one and then I'll blend it in with this one okay so then they they also have a eyeshadow tapered brush which is for your eyeshadow and I they, there's two ones so there's two little small ones um well actually this one is more round so this one is a tapered this one is tapered if you guys can see that so this is tapered and you can use this for like to do a smoky eye like kind of like on the edges um, and then you can also use it to highlight the inner corner of your eyes here um, it's probably be good for no I was gonna say it'd be good for glitter but probably not you probably want something bigger for glitter but anyways you can use this if you want to just kind of dab it and to mix it in another one you can use for the um, Oh, I have one. Did they have one here? Yes. This is the other taper brush, which is a larger one. So this is a larger taper brush, which is the one I use for uh, doing a smoky eye, where you do like a dark brown or black. Probably black is really, really brown, but it's really dark, I mean. And you will put it in the outer corner and just kind of blend it in and you can bring it up so you use a brush this tapered brush for that and this is your regular eyeshadow brush which is what you would just use to just blend in your eyeshadow okay so they have that one um and then this one is an angled eyeshadow brush which you can kind of use as well um, any way you really want to use it, but it has like this angled shape so that you can see it. I mean, I mean, it has this angled shape so you can use it however you see fit. But it's still for applying eyeshadow, different colors and different things like that. And then they have the last, well, there's actually three left. So... This brush is supposedly to use for a highlight. 
that's what I would use it for is like if you want to put like a little bit of highlight like a glitter or something like that and just kind of brush it over just lightly brush it over your cheekbones um, maybe down the bridge of your nose or something like that here here but that's pretty much it this is I want to say they call this a fan brush let me see what they named it 14 they say powder brush but I guess you can use it for powder if you wanted to do like a translucent powder or something really light just kind of brush over your face that's what this brush is for and then there are these two smaller brushes this one I use to highlight underneath the inner corner of my eyes I would use it for that and then this one um, would probably be the same thing. I wouldn't, you know, but you can, like I said, you can use this one as a, um, to do a smoky eye as well. All right, so that is it. That is all 16 of the brushes that I got. I ordered them from Amazon. I have Amazon Prime, so they got here in literally like a day. Um, I love these brushes so far so good I really like them again they're soft they blended really really well they were $12.99 if you go on Amazon right now and you type in makeup brushes these are a bestseller on Amazon so I really really like them they do have some other colors like I saw silver this one is the bronze it has like the bronze color but they also saw silver and I want to say they have gold as well. But they do charge you a little bit more for those colors. Why? Don't know. Maybe it's a popular color. But um, the only thing that I would say about these brushes that may be different from some of the more expensive brushes is it's actually smaller. So the I have a old brush. This one is an elf brush. It's old. It's really old. Let me show you in comparison to this best eye brush. So this is my e.l.f. brush. And then this, this is the flat brush. And this is the best eye brush. So you can see that this best eye brush is a lot smaller than the e.l.f. flat brush. So, but it works it works really good and then it feels a lot better this is I bought this this one a long long time ago elf probably has much better quality brushes now maybe I don't know it might be the same uh, I know they went up on their prices though because their brushes used to be I think those brushes were three dollars but now they're about six dollars so anyways but that's the only thing is the best art brushes are a little bit smaller but it works just fine and it still blends the makeup it still does the job so thank you guys so much again for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel comment down below if you've tried those brushes before or if you want to try them um or if you know some other affordable makeup brushes that um would be great to try put that in the comment box below everyone's mine